are, here we are. So we're now about five kilometers downstream from the source of the River Severn. And now you can immediately see the width of the river is starting to get much, much wider. Plus the discharge, the amount of water flowing in the river is also increasing. But when you actually look at it, we're still in the upper course of the river. But when you're actually looking, the speed of the river isn't actually that fast. And that's because the, the idea of friction is in play because of these big boulders and rocks in the water. So we can see there the sediment size is still very large in the upper course of the river. Now the reason for that is the river doesn't actually have that much energy at this point in the, in, in, in the, uh, in the river's course, in the profile. That's because it's, not, it's very steep, there's not that much water, so processes of attrition, rocks being smashed against each other, making more smaller, more rounded rocks, isn't occurring as much as you'll expect compared to the more the middle course and the lower course of the river. So sediment size in the upper course is much, much bigger. But when we're moving along the river, sediment is transported, the load is being transported as we move along the river. And there are four different types of transportation that move sediment from the upper course to the lower course of the river. The first one is traction. This is when massive boulders are rolled along the riverbed. You would tend to see this happening in the middle and the lower course of the river. The second one is suspension. This is when small pieces of material are suspended in the river flow. So they're being transported along there in the top of the river. You'll see these little dots. They're just being suspended and they're just moving along. Much finer material. You then have um, saltation. This is when pebbles will bounce on the bottom of the river bed along the river as it moves along. And the final one, solution. Solution is when the material is in, is in a solution. So like I said, erosion, it's when uh, chemical processes, it's in solution and it's dissolved in the river as it moves along. Okay, so we've got traction, we've got uh, suspension, we've got saltation and we have solution, transporting material along the river towards the middle and the lower course.